Apple's mobile payment technology is now in users' hands. Apple Pay uses a chip in the iPhone to complete a transaction at a store or online. I think it's a great idea. It's, lot, it's very convenient. You know, you don't have to carry a wallet with you. Apple says it's also more secure. A quick swipe of the iPhone and a second or two to process your fingerprint is all you need to do at checkout. A chip substitutes payment information and transmits it securely and anonymously to your credit card company. I think as payments move towards the mobile channel, there are increased opportunities to ensure that the security of the overall transaction is heightened. Uh, and as a result of that, we most likely will see less breaches, uh, but I don't think we can say that they'll completely disappear. Apple Pay isn't the only way to pay with your phone. Google Wallet and dozens of apps also allow for electronic purchases. Yeah, so we're starting to see an interesting trend where payments are really disappearing inside of applications. You think of an app like Uber, like Airbnb, like Hotel Tonight, Really, the payment experience has uh, more or less become invisible. Security has been at the forefront for millions of consumers in the wake of hackings of big name retailers like Target and Home Depot. I think if you look at the world where we're in today in the United States, which is uh, about the magnetic stripe, it's not very secure. You know, if you're an enterprising fraudster, you, know, you can easily skim payment card credentials off of a magnetic stripe card. A shift to more secure chip-based cards is expected to be completed in the U.S. by October of next year. But until that happens, consumers will be keeping a close eye on their wallets and possibly eyeing the phone as a smarter solution. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.